with the Legend of Korra episode 12. Uh, and yeah, we ended off with a crazy cliffhanger because everybody's potentially dead right now. Uh, she just went kaboom on all of them. Uh, but it kind of looks like possibly, maybe, maybe that they made it out alive. I really doubt that they're dead. Um, I mean, that'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> There's like a whole other episode left. So if it was just like the, a bunch of funerals, that'd be insane. But we can go and check out this episode. Please like this video out on uh on youtube uh, please like this video out on youtube and if you want to check out the full version more episodes early access is out on patreon they made it fall in <laughs> but that's why you're the goat <laughs> yo Yo, you think that like maybe possibly uh what's his face? Uh Batar Jr. is like passed out? Like they couldn't he couldn't even give the information if he could because he looked kinda out of it. He looked like he he got it rough. Because now he knows the true extent. She does not give a shit about you. Uh so I'm not letting her conquer Republic City. That's right. The world isn't safe as long as she has that weapon. I agree. We take down that giant today. Lynn! Glad to see you all made it out. Love her. You had me worried. Love Lynn. fighters are gonna have to fight her alone. She just blew up our factory with all our hummingbird suits. Not all of them. Oh? There are the prototypes back at my office. If we can get those ready to fly, we'll at least be able to offer a little air support. Okay. Please settle down. The train should be returning to pick us up soon. Tell that mecha jerk to settle down. She's the one blowing up the whole city. I hate to be the bearer of more bad news, but I just heard on the radio that Kuvira's army has destroyed the train tracks. Oh. We're, not... We're all gonna get blown to bits. Listen, everyone. I can get us out of here if you just sit tight. How? Step off the bench, please. It's a little... How, Wu? How are you gonna get out of here? You think you can handle this unruly mob for a little while? I raise me low. <laughs> I can handle anything. Yeah, Pem Pema, Pena, Pema, Pema, she got this. Like what? A paint store? That's it! You see, Milo is full of surprises, so let's see what he's gonna cook up now. He's got an idea how to beat the giant. Now oh everyone, grab some paints and find me some balloons. Huh? Oh, let's blind them. Maybe? Like, what if she can't see? She got windshield wipers? Yeah, but what if she just goes blasting randomly now, you know? Wait, but what's so crazy is they surrendered. I mean, I guess freaking Korra didn't surrender and they also took Patar, so I guess she's pissed. But like, they literally surrendered. <laughs> Did he get hit? Oh yeah, come on now! Come on, Milo! Damn, Milo! Let's go, let's go! That's the eye, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's right! Need more than that, guys! Yeah, but she'll just go blasting randomly, no? Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, shit! You never expected that, now did you? <laughs> What? No. Now for what? What for now? We're, now what? They'll just break the windows, low key too. Oh. Oh. That's our Bolin. That's our Bolin. <laughs> what is she doing? What is she airbending? Oh, water? Water, air? Yo, no fire. Kinda crazy. Well, we got lava, I guess, but. That's what I'm saying. She could just do that. Woo! Like, you gotta take down that cannon. Thank you. 
good. Now take down the cannon somehow. <gasps> guys, you don't see that aiming at you guys? Jeez. 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 Yo, but did anybody else make it out? Like, okay, good. They're airbenders, but like, god damn. Tenzin. Tenzin on the oh. floor. <gasps> oh! It's kinda crazy how they. They low key missing every shot, though. Like, that could take down a limb or something. Take the wounded back to Asami's office. I'll really? We're I'm retreating? Oh my god! I know, like, this is bad and all, but like. She's just gonna destroy the whole town! Oh? I don't know if this is gonna cut it, guys. <laughs> it's kinda cute. Oh. <laughs> I can't stabilize it! I thought you fixed the hydraulics! I did! Twist harder! Hey, 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 don't not tell Asami how to drive. I hope you have something in here that can take out a platoon of mecha suits. Kufira's troops are headed this way. I know how to take down some mecha suits, and it just might take down that giant, too. What? Asami, disconnect anything electrical in here until we get back. Julie, let's go! Okay, let's go. Mom. Aww. I'm so sorry. I betrayed you. The whole family. I gave my life to Kufira. I know I said um, but like... He also did some pretty horrible stuff. I don't know, sweetie. She's a complicated person. Kind of crazy. It really is. Like, she's like, how could she aim that weapon? But, like, you also, like, in a way, you were uh, attempting to, like, almost kill your family, too, if they weren't going to surrender. Like... Wing Wei will never forgive me. And Opal. Yeah? They might take some time to come around, but we'll work through it. As a Mom is always there. Now, freaking give us some tea, okay? You better give us some details to get rid of Kuvira already. With an electromagnetic pulse. So it stands to reason that I can stop a giant mecha suit with a giant electromagnetic pulse. Oh. Julie, I've been thinking. You're always thinking, sir. Yes, but lately I've been thinking about you. I know we might not make it out of this mess, and I feel like there are some things I should tell you. There are? I remember when I was a boy, I, I had an ostrich horse. Named her Mrs. Beaks. I grew up on a farm. Did I ever tell you that, Julie? This was before the circus people took me away. Anyway, I loved old Mrs. Beaks, but I took her for granted. You'll have to finish your story later. What? Kuvira's troops are in range. Okay, but this is good. We're getting somewhere with that. We're getting somewhere. I see you. I see you. Okay. I hope this works. Uh huh. On the ground. <laughs> Easy. What about that one, though? I'm afraid there are no more things to do. Derek, how come your electro thingy shut down the small mecha suits but not the big one? I don't know. Because it's powered with spirit vine energy. Oh. I'm oh. Sorry. I wish I could help you, but it's unstoppable. God damn it. What the frick, man? Oh? Dad? I got him out of jail to help. I figured we need all the geniuses we can get our hands on right now. Okay. With the Future Industries has plasma saws for cutting platinum. Damn, we're gonna use a saw? But the saws are way too big. We'd never get the suits off the ground. I think I can add an electrical element to the welding torch on your suit and convert it into a plasma saw. Then we'll just have to land on the giant and cut open a hole big enough for someone to get in. Like a metal mosquito. You know what happens to mosquitoes that land on me? I squash them. We'll have to attack in a swarm to try to keep you guys safe in the hummingbird suits. Okay. It looks like they're our only hope. First eat the fruit, then eat the leaves, <laughs> hungry little Emma. Hey, great job, everybody. Who's going <laughs> for us? We can't just sit around here singing old airbender songs until we're all captured, or worse. Should we play the button game? Who has a button? Oh? Look at frickin'. 
fucking Wu coming in clutch. This is the best plan. Badger moles digging holes under Republic's <laughs> Gotta run away from here today, although I do still think she's pretty. <laughs> I'm dead. Mech platoons report. You know Third what? Platoon. No sign of anyone so far. Who kind of grew on me? Surely you got this. It's only the best of the best. Suspenseful music. Uh huh, uh huh. That's our girl. No! Oh my gosh. That's not gonna stop Korra now! Now is it? That's not gonna do much. Bunch of rocks? Oh, don't swat them now. Oh, see, they're swarming. It's working. The strategy is kind of working. Not again. Not again. <gasps> oh. That kind of worked. Now keep hitting it. Now keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> oh no, you gonna stomp on them now? Oh. But bowling's not gonna let that happen! <laughs> Where the hell is Mako? <laughs> like... Wow, okay. You don't think they can just get up though? After that? Like, they are just like this big mecha monster. Oh, maybe not. Maybe the sheer weight. She could just like air- she could just, uh, earth bend her way out if anything, you know? Yeah, see? That's not gonna stop. Anything. If we stop that mecha giant, it will all be because of you. You're the one who designed these incredible suits. Uh-huh. It's great to be working together again. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. Not gonna lie, though, the Dad's red eyes are kind of scary looking. Really? Yes. Uh-huh! Ooh, did you see that slow hair flip? I need to attach before we take off. Attach to what? I need to attach this ring to your finger. Julie Moon, will you do the thing for the rest of our lives? Aww! What? Yes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that from Varric. I'm not. I did not. Now let's go attach these barely functional rust buckets to a giant killer smashing machine. It's exactly how I always pictured our engagement. <laughs> what? I thought he was just gonna admit that he kind of liked her, and then like, what? A okay, I wasn't expecting that. He finally was direct this time. <laughs> Oh, frickin' the sister duo goes crazy. No way. Uh-uh. Aim for that spot in the middle of the back. The one I can never reach. Got it. Exactly. They can't reach it. Exactly. Ex ah, let's get out of here. Wow. Oh, they can Wish reach it. Kind of Me too. Like, what? There's only two of them, you know? You need to distract them more, Korra. Uh-huh, she got an idea? <laughs> you know, when I first watched Korra, I had no idea that there would be so many mechas. Oh shit. That's not good. <sighs> ay ay ay. Okay, we got one now. We got still one more. Wow, we're gonna freeze it, huh? Oh, here we go. Now we got some time. I need more power. They're coming! 
cutting in. More power. Hey, we're getting somewhere though. We're getting somewhere. Uh-huh. These are professional at work. We need to get out of here. Almost there. <gasps> we have to go now. Almost there. Almost there. Dude, you're gonna risk her and your daughter's life. Dad, now! Goodbye, son. I love you. Dad! Oh, shit. Hiroshi's plan worked. There's our opening. Holy shit. What the That's freaking crazy. That was crazy, what? Oh, I really wasn't expecting that, but like, yeah, like she, the way she was bringing it up, like we gotta go now, like they could have gone back, right? And then gone, but like this guy was like a risk taker and he was like, you know, this is my only opportunity, we gotta do it. And then I'm thinking like, damn, but like also Asami's in there too, so you're gonna risk you and your daughter's life? And I was like, oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. Like when he said that, oh, he said goodbye, I was like, oh. I had no idea. Damn, oh, why is it kind of... Kind of sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. But yeah, that was kind of fucking crazy. Um. Wu did a fantastic job. <laughs> He's actually an amazing leader, actually. He calms the masses. He finds a solution. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's really damn good, you know? I, I, I was like, yo, let's not get too carried away. He couldn't be a good leader, but damn, he's pretty good. He actually, he actually is. I'm not gonna fall for some, you know, a few inspirational lines here and there. Like, it's great to be a leader, to, like, be able to, you know, um, inspire and lead is, uh, is, is a fantastic quality. You don't need to know how to do everything as a leader. You can have people, but they need to be able to trust you. So, like... Uh, I'm starting to trust Wu now, you know? They all started to trust Wu, you know? It's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, they did a damn good job. Freaking, um, all the teamwork was freaking insane. It's actually a fantastic episode because we saw everybody just working together in their own ways. Even like the minor characters really kind of shine here too. Uh, we, yeah, we saw a lot of the airbenders really doing their thing, like like a big help in this case. Uh, and then, you know, uh, we also, a lot happened. The Varric, you know, the Varric and Julie love is actually official now. Uh, they're engaged. It's so cute. Um, it's really adorable. And yeah, uh, we saw like even, you know, even Pema had her screen time. <laughs> she helped out in her own way as she, uh, as much as she could have. Um, and yeah, it was just really fantastic. Um. A fan like honestly this is probably one of the best episodes in the entire series in my opinion like really really well like if we're gonna like rank episodes like 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 the 10 best episodes of the series i think this one would go in the top 10 like i thought it was like so much happened so much happened in this episode um and also of course uh batar jr realizing that you know kavira is, does not give a shit a flying f about you would literally kill you to get what she wants so uh then he was like oh okay um yeah she's a monster and uh i'm sorry for almost killing you guys so yeah that's all there is to it i guess that was a great episode not gonna lie and there's only one more episode left like jeez like what i st ugh. I still haven't processed it. I don't know if I want to watch the next episode now, because I'm not ready to say goodbye. Like, I love Korra. I really, really, really love Korra. Like, as a character, I'm talking about Korra, even the show. Yeah, the show was great, but, like, I love Korra as a character. I think she's amazing. Like, I, I, I you know, it's just... <sighs> I, I know a lot of people were talking a lot of shit about the show, but, like, it, it's, it, it is really good. I understand what the flaws are talking about. I understand what season two, but season two is actually really good, too. The later half. Um, I thought that the first, I think, six episodes were boring, in my opinion. Like, eh, you know, there's a lot of flaws in it.
but like i thought it got really interesting like to learn about the avatar backstory and then like i thought it was super super interesting um so overall everything besides like the first six episodes of season two was just fantastic and i can't believe it's, all, it's literally over so kind of sucks so i hope we get more avatar content in the future somehow some way but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed melon out